somebody recently asked in the forums to uh, how, how to reduce um, a vector image out of a bitmap image. Um, so, unfortunately, YouTube, since they've been taken over by Google, have um, strictly enforced a 10 minute rule. So, uh, I've got to do this video tutorial within 10 minutes, so it makes it very difficult. Okay, so here we've got the original. Um, bitmap that uh, they supply then they want to reproduce that in a vector format so uh, first thing to do is look at the layers gallery so we know where we're working um, I've got viewable areas just so I know the YouTube area that I need to work in the original bitmap is the bitmap that they supplied I'll just toggle it on and off so you can see it and then above that I've got I've created another layer called a drawing area and the, you'll notice that the original bitmap area is not editable, so I, I can't select it. I'll move that aside. Right, let's have a look at this logo first and foremost. What is it? You see, it's, it looks like a circle with a um, circular transparency from white to black. Um, below that is another circle with a blue um, fill um, with very heavy feathering. And then there seems to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven leaves taken out of the top shape so the first thing we have to do is um, create the circle so hit the ellipse tool hold down the control key which makes it sure you're creating a circle not an ellipse and just move that aside then move that up hit the select the tool that's I'll hold down the shift key a bit just to increase that I don't want a, a line width so I'll make that none so that's uh, that's the, the original circle made. I'll move that aside so we can see. Okay, this is the original circle that we wanted. Now I'm going to do Control K, which actually clones the uh, that shape. Uh, clone is like making a duplicate, but right exactly on top of itself. And I'm going to fill this for the time being with purple, just so you can see it. I'm going to hold down the Shift key and drag in, so it. goes in about like that okay now I don't want to fill color with that so I'm going to make the fill color non it's disappeared at the moment I'm going to make the line color uh, stroke color uh, stroke two points uh, so you can see it okay now we don't need that anymore for a while so I'm going to move that aside just trundle that over the edge there so I've got some working part of the screen okay the next thing I want to do is create these leaves the easiest way to create this leaf shape and make it a duplicate is I'm going to click with the shape editor tool, holding down the control key, move across, and then we've got a straight line in the horizontal plane. When that changes to this little arrow, I'm going to push it up like that, move it just across and touch, drag that handle a bit. Okay, so now I've got this arc shape and I can then drag up and close that shape when I meet those two together it changes to a plus icon that changes I don't want that stroke color so I'll select norm and I'm going to control that control K to clone make a duplicate above it again control K I'm going to fill the color with red this time just so you can see it now I'm going to go along in this little nine matrix icon I'm going to hit the middle bottom one here set the origin point down there okay now I'm gonna to have to widen the screen as always come on widen I'm gonna move the work area across here right now when I do this flip vertically because I set the origin point down there it's flipped down there time marches on so I have to keep going here I'm going to drag select those two, it says two shapes, I'm going to go arrange, combine shapes, add shapes, and there we have just one shape, one shape, nice leaf. Now, I think that, we're trying to work on this, this leaf here, so it's about, um, it's probably a bit fat, that one, and slim it down by just holding down the shift key, and dragging it down like that, um, so I think that one's about 45 degrees, so I'm going to go along along here now. In the rotation window up here I'm just going to blank that out and type 45 which then turn that round 45 degrees. Now the next thing I notice just 
disappear too much. It's far too big. So I'm going to hold down the shift key again and drag in that. I want to undo that, undo that, undo that, undo that because it's a bit, made it a bit too thin. I'm going to type in the 45 again and reduce it in size and move it across there, okay? Just let me reposition this window a bit so we know what area we're working in. Okay, and I'm going to shift key again, holding down, reducing in size. And you can see that that's about the size we want. Okay, having got the size you wanted, just move it along here a bit so we can see what we're doing. I'm going to hit Control K to clone it, and I'll change the color to orange. Doesn't matter. Move it along here. So you've now got these um, two shapes. I'm going to hit the blend tool and blend between the two. Um, and I've now got seven shapes. I know when I blend around a circle that the first shape will overlap the second shape. And as we want seven, we'll only end up with six. So I'm going to change this, you've just got to trust me here, to six blends. Okay. So you've now got the um, this blend. Um, meanwhile, I'll drag back onto the screen the circles that we made earlier. I'm just going to click on the in a circle with a black outline and no fill color and we know we've got that because it says down here and also shift holding down the shift key select the blend and then we're going to go into the blend tool again I'm going to move the screen again which is a pain in the neck and we're going to put hit that blend along us blend along the curve Plonk. and there's that blend along the curve however it's not rotating with the screen, so with so if I click on this, rotate along the curve. There you have it. That's rotating along the curve. Uh, possibly you can't see. Let's change that colour of that to um, a light grey. Now you can you, know, you can see that better. It blends along the curve. So the next thing we want to do is um, we don't want this line here anymore. Um, that serves its purpose. We're going to click on that one blend, go to a range, and then convert to editable shapes. That stops it being a blend, it's now one group. If you hold down the control key and select, click over the black line, it says one shape with a black line. We don't want that anymore, so we hit the delete key, and that's gone. This is now all one shape, and I'm, what I'm going to do is just move these up the screen a bit so you can see. Uh, this is an all one shape now. Um, so what I need to do now is go arrange, combine. Sorry, make sure I've got the what you, was the blend and the circle. Arrange, combine shapes, subtract shapes. There you've got this shape that we were originally after. Um, and now I need to just give it that black colour fill. I'm going to the fill tool. Oh, you are your fill tool. Oh, I've lost my colour a bit. Uh, I'm going to give it a circular fill. Time's running short, so I'm going to have to move a bit now. Uh, I'm going to get create another circle. I'm going to select the two circle, uh, two shapes. I'm going to go Control Shift L. To open up the alignment box. The alignment box is already set to align centrally, align centrally, so I'll apply, move that aside, select that circle that just created. I don't want any um, line colour for it. I'm going to send it to the back, control B. Um, I'm going to create, make, this, make it larger by just creating that size there. It doesn't have to be exact. I want the same the colour to be. Um, Blue, so I'll bring in the eyedropper and select that blue, and then I'm just going to give apply some very heavy feathering if I can. I'll have to move that feathering like that, and I hope that uh, stops because uh, that's we're running out of time now. I hope that helped you show how to make that. Bye.